Good morning, Highland View. Uh, today is Ash Wednesday. Again, something uh, that I've not spoken on ever before. It's not something I've ever participated in or thought much about, or at least thought much about in a positive way, to be honest. If you were here this past Sunday or, or watched online or, or watched on the app since then, you know that this last Sunday we talked about just that. We talked about Ash Wednesday and the season of Lent and what that's all about in a very, very superficial kind of 10,000 foot view. There's so much more to dive into, and I'm hoping that you will with us over the next uh, six weeks or so. But this morning, I want to make just a short video to share with you about today, about Ash Wednesday, this, this beginning of the season of Lent, day one. Uh, if you are participating in this in any way, today's the day. And so I want to just share a few thoughts with you. Now, going into this season of Lent, as we talked about this past Sunday, if you haven't watched last Sunday's message, I encourage you, please go on the Highland View app and watch this past Sunday's message as we talk more about this. But I want to remind you just very briefly that this can look very differently. This will, in fact, look very differently for, for each of us. But I really would encourage you in some way to find a way of participating in this with the body, with, with the parts of the body here at Highland View in this family, uh, with our online family, but, but also with the other churches in, in this time, in our time right now, in our area, in our country, in the world. This, this is a worldwide observance. But also in history, that idea of the, the piece that I read, um, uh, Nadia Bowles Weber, about this, this being intrinsically linked to all the believers in history and these observances. Uh, it's just a neat thing. Required? No, of course not. Uh, Christianity doesn't work that way. Um, but beautiful. Nonetheless, when we can get past all of the things that kind of cause us to freeze up about it, as it has for me most of my life being on the outside. Okay, back to the message at hand. Uh, today is Ash Wednesday, and we talk about ash just being symbolic in nature of our finite, uh, our, our lives being we come from dust, from ash, and we return to dust and Ash, how ash is used so prolifically through scripture to show times of mourning, times of grief, times of repentance, times of confession, times of, of prayer, times of searching for answers, times of looking for guidance, times of begging God for something in the moment, sackcloth and ash. And so it's symbolic of that. That's the idea. That's why it's called Ash Wednesday. And it's the beginning of this, again, this 40-day period, 46-day period. Uh, again, symbolic in nature to Jesus' 40-day period in the wilderness where the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness during his time of prayer and fasting and temptation. Uh, it, it, it's a time that we are called to self-reflection. It is a time that we will... Uh, explore more in depth over the next six weeks or so about how it's not about guilt. It's not about shame. It is about repentance. It is about confession, but how in Christianity that doesn't break us, that, that, that doesn't put us to a place of such a worm as I, right? Uh, it, it's this joyful occurrence of believing what God says God thinks about when God thinks about you. It's getting to the place of self-reflection and then understanding that in that God has wiped the slate, that God forgives, that God bestows mercy and grace and peace and justice. I want to read you this piece. Uh, it's by Debbie McDaniel. Uh, as we walk through this season of Lent, these are her words, not mine. As we walk through this season of Lent, we're reminded again that sometimes life is hard. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it's dark. 
and it leaves its mark like ashes of grief in the deepest parts of our souls where no one but God can really see. Yet even in times of ashes and struggle, even when we think we've been forgotten in our seasons of waiting, God is still there and he is bigger. As believers, we can still hold on to hope. For God never intends for us to stay stuck in our sin, our pain, or our deep sorrow. God heals and restores. God calls us onward. God reminds us that in God we have great purpose and hope. There is beauty and greatness behind every mark of darkness. The ashes will fall away. They don't stay forever. But God's greatness and glory shine forever through every broken place and flaw we have struggled through. Jesus conquered death. He lives forever. He reigns in glory, and we have victory in him. Take courage, dear friends, who are facing deep battles. He is greater than any enemy we face in this life. We overcome because he has already overcome and our lives are hidden in Christ. May God cover you with peace. May God bring healing in the face of hard news. May God bring deep, abiding joy that makes no sense to the world. May God bring comfort and care as God wraps you in God's arms. The God of miracles fights for you today, and God is mighty. There's still beauty ahead straight out of the ashes, because Christ redeems. She ends her thoughts with a prayer. I found it uh, beautiful, and I want to share it with us all this morning. Dear God, in this season of Lent, we're reminded of our own difficulties and struggles. Sometimes the way has seemed too dark. Sometimes we feel like our lives have been marked by such grief and pain, we don't see how our circumstances can ever change. But in the midst of our weakness, we ask that you would be strong on our behalf. Lord, rise up within us. Let your spirit shine out of every broken place we've walked through. Allow your power to be manifest through our own weakness so that others will recognize it is you who is at work on our behalf. We ask that you would trade the ashes of our lives for the beauty of your presence. Trade our mourning and grief for the oil of joy and gladness from your spirit. Trade our despair for hope and praise. We choose to give you thanks today and believe that this season of darkness will fade away. Thank you that you are with us in whatever we face, and that you are greater than this trial. We know and recognize that you are sovereign. We thank you for the victory that is ours because Christ Jesus, and we are confident that you have good still in store for our future. We thank you that you are at work right now, trading our ashes for greater beauty. We praise you, for you make all things new. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Love you guys.